Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to generate a CSR key for an SSL certificate in Plesk. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First of all, we will see what is CSR key and where it is used. A CSR certificate signing request is a block of encoded text that is given to a certificate authority when applying for an SSL certificate. It is usually generated on the server where the certificate will be installed and contains information that will be included in the certificate such as the organization name, common name or domain name, locality, and country. You may be asked to generate a CSR if you are purchasing an SSL certificate through a third-party certifying authority. Once generated, you will need to submit that CSR to your third-party provider, who will then create an SSL certificate for you. Let's see how to generate a CSR key for an SSL certificate in Plesk. First of all, you will have to log into your Plesk control panel. In the username field, enter the username. Here we have used admin as an example. In the password field, enter the password of the user which you have used in the username field. Click on the login button to log in into it. Congratulations, you are successfully logged into your Plesk control panel. Go to the Website and Domains option located on the upper left side of the screen and click on it. Select the domain name that you wish to generate CSR key and click on it. Here we have selected dmoviepstest.com as an example. Go to the SSL or TLS certificates option and click on it. Once you click on it, SSL or TLS certificate name window will be open. Click on the Add SSL, TLS Certificate option. Once you click on it, one new window will be opened. Here, you will have to fill out all the information on the page. All items noted by red asterisks must be filled in. In the Certificate Name field, enter a certificate name which is a friendly name for your internal reference only. It's not a part of your actual SSL certificate. A good naming format is domain name years of validity, which helps you easily identify the certificate in your control panel and when it expires. Here we have used dmoviepstest.com 2019-2020. In the bits field, select a bit size of 2048 or higher from the drop-down list. Bit 2048 is recommended. Here we have selected 2048 as an example. In the country field, select your country from the drop-down list. Here we have selected the United States as an example. In the state or province field, enter the state or province name where your organization is legally incorporated. Here, we have used New Jersey as an example. In the Location city field, enter the location or city name where your organization is legally incorporated. Here we have used Old Tapan as an example. In the Organization Name or Company Name field, enter the full legal name of your organization. Here we have used AccuWeb Hosting as an example. In the Organization Department or Division Name field, enter your departments such as Information Technology or Website Security. Here we have used IT Department as an example. In the Domain Name field, 
Enter the domain name or website name which you want to secure with the certificate such as example.com, www.example.com, secure.website.org. For wildcard certificates, enter the domain name as star.yourdomain.com. This means that the certificate will be issued for all subdomains of yourdomain.com. Here we have used www.dmoviepstest.com as an example. In the email address field, enter the email address on which you want to receive an important email regarding the SSL certificate. Here we have used nick at acuwebhosting.com as an example. Click on the request button to generate the CSR key. Once you click on it, the CSR key will be generated and you will get a message on the screen that the SSL, TLS certificate was added. To see the CSR key, click on the certificate friendly name which you have assigned while generating the CSR key. Scroll down the screen and select the CSR option. This is the CSR key of your website or domain name. This is the private key of your website or domain name. Please ensure that you keep your private key confidential. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We seen how to generate a CSR key for an SSL certificate in Plesk. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on the subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.